In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Gingerbread YouTube application that's been ported back to work with the X10. So this is the old YouTube application. It's version 1.6. And this is the new YouTube application, uh, version 2.0. So to start off, your phone has to be rooted. You also need Super User and BusyBox. Go into Settings, Applications, turn on Unknown Sources, go into Development, and turn on USB Debugging. Once you've done that, on your computer, you must have PC Companion installed or else USB debugging won't work. PC Companion installs drivers that allow you to use USB debugging. So once you've done that, download the zip file with everything. It's in the description. I've also included all the files needed to root your phone in case you haven't done it already. This only works on 2.1. It does not work on 2.1.1, which cannot be rooted yet. So if you have 2.1.1, you can't use this yet. So now connect your phone to your computer. In the dialog box that pops up, make sure you click on charge and not connect your phone. Uh, I didn't get it this time, let me just do it again. So when you plug in your phone, you should get a pop up and choose charge phone. Now on your computer, it should have installed something. You should see, if you go into add remove hardware, you should see your phone, SEMC. That means the drivers have installed properly. So now, out of all the files you unzipped, first open up commands, which has a list of all the commands you'll, you'll need. Just copy and paste. Next, run command prompt. Right click and make sure you run as administrator. So now you've got a command prompt up and now you're just copying and pasting the commands for, uh, from notepad. So the first command copies the new YouTube application to your SD card. Paste and success. The second command starts up the shell, which allows you to run commands on your phone. Now this next command that you're going to run, before you run it, on your phone, on your phone, go into super user and have that open. Go into the command prompt, and the command is SU. When you press enter on your phone, you'll get a pop-up from super user. You have to allow this, pop, uh, this command. Once you allow it, you're going to have a new unknown application. That's your computer trying to issue super user commands to the phone. You have to allow this or else you cannot run these commands. When, if it's not successful or you didn't catch it in time, just run it again until you get to, until you get that prompt on your phone. So SU. The dollar sign changes into a pound sign. Copy the next command. This turns the system files from read only to read and write so that you can modify your system applications. Next command removes the pre-existing YouTube. Now you're going to quit out of the shell using control C and you'll be back in the command prompt. Copy the next command. Which uninstalls YouTube from the system uh, applications. Now 
Now you're going to go back into shell. And go back into super user. And this next command copies YouTube from the SD card into the phone's memory. The last command, BusyBox, changes the permissions so that the file runs properly. And you're done. Hit Control C to quit out of the terminal. And now you're done with the command prompt. Just type exit. And yes. So now that you've done all that, go onto your phone. And you should have the new YouTube. If you, if you run it, and it runs fine, then uh, you're good to go. If it force closes, then you have to go into Titanium Backup and clear all the existing data. So go into Titanium Backup, which was included in the zip file, and go into Backup, select the new YouTube application, and wipe all the data. So once you've wiped all the data, start up YouTube again, and it should work. And that's how you install the new YouTube application. I've also included the old YouTube application in case you want to go back. It's in the zip file as well.